Hey again, and welcome to the update. You have created your baseline. We are reviewing the baseline. And you have the schedule ready. So what should you do now? It's in the monitoring and controlling phase. You will take a copy and update the schedule. So you might name this as the guard room baseline if you wish. Or you can also add it here like the baseline. To take a copy always remember it's preferred not while it's open because sometimes a lot of troubles happen. There is no particular reason. So make sure that it's closed. Then copy you might make a new EBS or you just keep it with the same original EBS. And here it is. This is will be the update. Okay, it's covered. Usually it takes nothing. That that's amazing. So you will take another copy, and you're going to see why now. And here it goes. Another copy. One, two, three, four. That's the most fast fastest update I have ever seen, or fastest copy. Usually the schedules I work with is 10,000 plus. So anyhow, guard room, we would just name one, update it as, just pick a date. Uh, okay, we'll make it, let's say, June of 8, June 18. Good, so why did we take this copy? You're going to see right now. Open this one. And let's see, the first step for the update is make sure that the project baseline appears. So this one, exactly the same, yeah? Always make sure to assign a baseline. To assign first, you have to maintain. That's why we took the copy. We need to always, you can make save a copy. I do not recommend this though. I recommend always to take a copy outside and then convert another project. And then you're going to take this one to always leave the baseline as a separate schedule. So you're going to take this one and now you have maintained. Make sure that you assign guard room, guard room, done. And it's exactly the same because no update happened at all, zero. So, also you might, in order to make things easier, you might save as update layout. Because you might want to show different items in the update. And here it is. You have saved the update. It's better to choose this. Let's assume anything. It's 8 June. We will assume that this is finished and completed. First to make any, anything started, to press here, finished is to press here as well, or you might change the date, you are going to say finished 10 May instead of 11 May. And this you might say that you have given early, but you want to, to maintain the same dates, 9 May to 22 May. If you press here only finished, both will be ticked and will take same duration as baseline. And here it is, done resubmit you might say let's show first the remaining column remaining duration just remember i need you just remember what activity type are we working with we'll say started if we made the duration percentage here it's duration it's clear that we are working with a duration percentage so 50%, this one will go six days. As you see, it goes six days. But what if we don't want this? For some reason, yes, it's finished 50%, but we need another 12 days. So in Shot's case, we have to change this one to physical. I usually prefer to work all the project in physical, because this is what happens in the construction, especially. So now when you change, make this 50 or make this 80 this one doesn't change 
and you can keep this even 20 doesn't matter for some reason you might keep notes here and write why this is the reason but somehow it worked this way so let's i let's also what else complete here it's nothing more or we can say at this moment we can say it's finished just for the sake of this example uh let's say it's finished earlier 30 may and let's say it's also approved here a mistake Kevin what's this mistake you're going to see the mistake but first make sure that you are running at 8 June you are going to go June make it 9 June Friday's off so here what's wrong what do you think is wrong here we have made an activity finished before the data date which is wrong so let's view the log if you're going to see the log there is an active uh, item we say that will show here 54 okay now this one is updated not started 54 activity is 58 completed for relationships 107 nothing changed early and everything is just cleared because gone to the data date late start date this one has shifted because for instead of june the critical path is delayed and now this one activity is actual dates more than data date one this will show you that something is wrong because you cannot predict that it's actual it will finish 12 june it's still a prediction so we can correct this by let's say this one will move it 3 june and 8 june i wanted to do this only to make sure that we can update some of the construction as well the good thing here as you see this works fine and this so that's clearly late it was supposed to finish here but it is going to start here so that's why the use of the these bars as well it will give you a good comparison what's going on and you're going to see exactly in just a minute that the project is slipping and you can also see by slipping by how much but see this one this one is quite weird actually it's coming earlier so why it's coming early than it's supposed to be if you go to the block work the block work stalling steel beams if you just track excavation works 9 June so why it's coming early why the structure works is coming early first of all this is coming early because of the excavation works is going to come early this means something has been violated most probably so what's here it's approval by the consultant finish to start this is 9 June and the approval to finish to start to see things better you can add the dates column baseline one date let's say baseline one finish date and baseline start date to see when they were supposed this one was supposed to run on 13 june but it's going to run on 9 june because it's not driven by anything more so let's check another item here that the options and make progress override will it change anything wait and see nothing why because the violate i need you to check this by yourself and even comment or ask about it. and cheers for the difference between the progress override and the retained logic which is very important as well so this one has is going to start first but this one is not driven anymore by this it's driven by the data date it's actually going to start earlier which is good for us but why the project is shifted this one is shifted mainly because of the procurement so now the critical path has changed or another critical path has emerged it's actually the same on same activities but another region became the more critical reason so now you can review your update clearly but what else can you see you can also show the earned values you go to this one you can show whatever you want to show you can show the schedule variance 
performance index you can also show performance okay you can also show budget accumulation but this one would show much better if you have everything ready show the performance index it's not that clear go back to your earned units budgeted non-labor what else do you think you might want to see here earned value cost earned value cost would show here where is the earned value cost it's zero why it's zero because the costs are only assigned for the construction so let's now re-update let's say excavation works we'll assume it's started and finished structure works for sure started and we bring bonding concrete started and finished this one started and finished and we are we are assuming that we are going to run on a different date say 30 june to see for the sake of example the earned value cost will be updated here so you know that you have done work equivalent by 22,576 can just undo each and everything undo each and everything undo each, each and everything undo and run again to 9 june so what do you think the update is what else is remaining to see do you think you have we have covered each and everything always make sure how your project goes and the main milestone is simply that's how you update with the baseline and when you want to take a copy make sure that you close all again first let's change this one to 9 june and when you copy make sure to take the baseline with you you can assign here check this one and take it with you for your next update in order not to take the baseline another copy of it. and by now everything is clear you just update this assume some items and update this for assume 30 of June